Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to identify links based on partial or full match. Now, let's start quickly with this simple HTML page which, which we have developed to demonstrate uh, this particular XPath. If you want to try your hands on, you can download this page from the description of this video. Now, uh, let's see the source code of this page using inspect and here you can see there are two links over here and uh, you, you can identify these links based on either the text or the href uh, attribute. Now we'll do it for text first and then we'll go for href attribute. So press control F here or command F or, or if you are on Mac. Type double slash, double slash means you are going to write a relative x path, not an absolute x path. So that means uh, the, when, when you say double slash, it will find the element in the entire page. If you say only single slash, it will start from the start of the page from the HTML uh, uh, um, root tag. Okay, so we need double slash here and then you need to specify the tag name, which can be A or uh, any tag name uh, or star also you can specify and then opening square bracket here you'll write the expression to match this particular uh, anchor tag okay uh, so let's go for text first if text if you write this method this will return the text of any tag and if that text is equal to click here your xpath is able to find this element okay so this is a uh, text full match now if you want to uh, find the link based on partial match of text in that case you need to put this entire expression in contains method or function put comma here because these are two different parameters so contains method accept uh, a text of current element and uh, then uh, you can also pass only partial text okay so if this particular text which is this if this contains this part it will match the element you can see there is only one match for this x part okay so this is how you can uh, find uh, anchor tag based on partial match of text now let's try to find the anchor tag based on href attribute so anyway attribute you for any attribute you need to write at the rate first and then href okay the attribute name it could be href or class name or name any other attribute and then here you, you will specify the uh, value of this particular attribute which is www dot youtube dot com okay so this is uh, uh, the full match of href now if you want to do the partial match put this expression in round bracket and here you can say contents okay remove this equal sign replace it with comma now here you don't need to uh, mention the uh, full url you just need to you can mention the partial as well okay so basically uh, it contents method accepts this href tag and if uh, this value contains this particular text it is able to find this element okay uh, friends if this video helps you subscribe to this channel and like this video put your thoughts in comment section because we like to hear from you thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye